as you know, there's a jobs bill before Congress, and there's a great debate over whether Congress, through taxpayer money, should pay $447 billion to support a jobs bill. And so I'm just anxious to hear what you think. You have to give the businesses the breaks, make them feel comfortable to hire and train and get our country back on their feet. Anybody else? Giving business incentives, that's the main thing right there. But there's Grow another, business. Grow there's business. There's another Just big problem in the country way. right now. This concept that federal money would be targeted towards creating jobs for educators, providing money to local governments for public safety jobs, firemen and police, there would be money uh, devoted towards rebuilding roads, highways, and that that in turn would lead to jobs in the construction industry. Good idea, bad idea. Great idea, crap. Certainly for teachers, I think we need more because, you know, class sizes are getting larger and stuff. I think that's a good idea. And, um, you know, if if the corporations aren't willing to give jobs, then I think government should. As far as teacher jobs, police officers, that's, that's the state and local government's problem. Exactly. Government does not have any business having those jobs being administrated from the federal level. Uh, road maintenance? They're responsible for interstate highways. Um, maybe U.S. highways. I'm not 100% sure on that one. They want another 440 something billion dollars uh, to stimulate the economy when they've already spent two, what was it, two? We had TARP and then we had uh, TARP the TARP. economic stimulus. Yeah. yeah. And TARP <coughs> didn't really work. I didn't agree with that. President George Bush didn't, uh, I didn't agree that he did that, but, uh, you know, Obama turned around, did the same thing. Uh, the first one didn't work, the second one didn't work. I have no trust that the third one's going to work either. The discussion now is that they're at an impasse, mm -hmm. but they're looking for, they, they say they're looking for common ground, maybe portions of that bill. Uh, someone mentioned that they like the infrastructure part of it, another, another of you mentioned yeah. teachers. Any part of it that you like? Anybody remember what the Civil Conservation Corps was about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The government spent money to put people to work doing federal projects and building the road sounds to me like we get a road built or get a bridge taken care of it's going to fall down we need that anyway and if you can put somebody to work doing it sounds like you got two sides of the coin that are pretty good now if you got to spend tax money that you don't have i don't know so i mean there's a complication with all this but the idea about spending federal money to put people to work to get something for good for the country seems to me a good good idea Okay. Now, what other ramifications? You know, maybe everybody's got to starve to death for a month to, you know, to, to fund it. I don't know. But Well, you know, the president's funding proposal is controversial. Part of it would be eliminating some of the tax loopholes uh, for wealthier Americans and some of the tax loopholes for corporations. Well, that don't involve me. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's, that's, that's part of what would keep it what they call revenue neutral. In other words, you wouldn't increase the debt ceiling. Um, some thoughts? on that? There are segments of the population who are undertaxed, but if everyone's taxed equally, also they do a lot of spending in the United States because supposedly every dollar that someone on the top spends hits eight people on the way down to the bottom. What they need to do is give it to the states and give business deductions and get out of the way. Anybody think that this is a good way to stimulate job growth? Anybody else think parts of it or portions of it might be useful? Once we get people back to work, you have money flowing back into the economy again. The catch-22. But that $200,000 per job. That's right. I'm that's not trying to throw it out there's there. There's studies that have been done that, that, that will if try to list the number of jobs that may have been saved or created as the nomenclature goes. That uh, When you take the total number of those jobs and you divide it into the total, total cost, it comes out to some exorbitant amount of money. Uh, you know, if it's somebody else did the math jobs, on that, so I can't not, be sure if that's true. But, but should we not try to get people back to work? We should, but then what we're doing is we're not doing it the right way. Anything else that you think would be a good way that you would suggest in terms of getting people back to work? Any other ideas that you have uh, that you think you'd like the politicians to consider? If it's one thing that I think that President Obama has done right uh, was starting the National Student Loan Program, uh, I, have, I haven't heard anybody complain about it. And even on the right side, all the political pundits on the right, nobody's ever complained about it. And that tells me that maybe they do agree with it. They just don't want to talk about it. I think that's one extremely important, to me personally, extremely important to have uh, an educated workforce, to be competitive in a global economy for sure. I think anyone that receives assistance <coughs> or a check from the government in any form or fashion is responsible to do some work for that, that assistance or that check. 
unless they're ill, they cannot work or something, but everyone else should be required to work for that assistance. Yeah, you start the at the bottom, goes out you here. start at the bottom if you mm -hmm. have to, and you work your way up. But unless you're going to work, you're never going to move anywhere. You're always going to be waiting for someone to hand it to you.